Today I'm out on Exmoor before dawn, hoping to find a particular red deer stag that I've been watching through the seasons for the last four years. But seeing him during the autumn rut this year eluded me. It's not long before I spot several stags on the move through the valley below me, but none have the antler characters that I'm looking for. It's past ten o'clock when I do see the antlers of a four and five atop stag moving through the bracken and gorse. With luck on my side, soon after I spot him, the stag lays down in a small clearing. I decide to sit down as well, about a hundred metres away, but in full sight of him. But settled in cover himself, the stag is unconcerned. He's seen me stalking him with my tripod many times before. His antlers are longer, but not quite as even as last year. He has all his rights, that is his brow, bay and tretine, and four atop on one side but is missing a bay tine on the other side, where he's five atop. I've now been watching him for over an hour, when he stands up to stretch and groom. He's a really fine-looking stag in good condition, but at no more than six to seven years old, he's still some years of his prime. On Exmoor, stags don't tend to reach the full potential of the antler development, unless they're left to get to ten years or older, which unfortunately rather few of them are. <laughs> 